wow, I can't believe it's 2019 and I'm making like, what, the third versus 13 video in two weeks? The first one I figured would be a good piece of information with the whole Blizzard thing going on. The second one, well, who knew Square Enix would decide to release the versus 13 Noctis costume for Dissidia NT like, right after. And now, there's this third video, which I feel this is a very important bit of information going forward, and something that I feel is necessary to discuss as it'll be inevitably referenced at some point in time. I guarantee it. In the same livestream where Noctis' vs. 13 costume was announced, it seems that they more or less confirmed a fan theory that was floating around for a while now. That vs. 13 seemed to have been banned from being discussed, or at the very least it was a taboo topic for Tetsuya Nomura to be able to talk about. While the stream was in Japanese, we have translated snippets from Twitter user at Xenosaga7, which translates them saying, quote, Kujiraoka. This costume was actually from vs. 13's costume, Nomura. Wait, we're allowed to say that name? Kujiraoka. Yeah, it's okay. Because before, it was not allowed. Hazama. Uh, it's complicated, but it's okay now. This even had Nomura a bit shocked that they were allowed to say the word versus 13. This is something that I've also pointed out in my last video, where his versus 13 costume doesn't have the word versus in there. It's his otherworldly costume. Even when discussing Viram Rex and its likeness to Final Fantasy versus 13 in the Kingdom Hearts Ultimania, he also couldn't say the words versus 13. He simply had to refer to it as a previous project. Of course, it does make sense as Tabata himself said that Square had no further plans to reveal anything else on the Versus project. And as you can imagine, it's because the more they reveal, the more fans express a bigger desire to have what they would deem as a better version. Nomura went on to say that this costume was always a prototype. The one he is wearing in 15 is the real one. I was involved with that, but there are a lot of things that I can't say. And then he jokes, one day I will write about it in a book. Which, even though he's joking here, this is honestly really depressing. I mean, consider the circumstances. Imagine getting to work on a game that is essentially a dream project for you, pouring at least seven years of your life into it, then having to get removed from the project, having that project released by someone else with an entirely different vision than you, and then being forbidden from being able to talk about the project. That had to be an incredibly rough experience for someone to have, and even then, some people still blame him for the project's failure when all the circumstances were out of his control. Honestly, I just feel so bad for him. And when you look at Viram Rex, it's almost sort of like that's his way of communicating with fans. Because he's not able to explicitly talk about Final Fantasy vs. 13, it really makes sense about why he would do something like that. I mean, everything in Viram Rex references Final Fantasy vs. 13. Not just the characters and everything that's going on, but even the music. The main theme of Versus in 15, Somnus even plays. There is no getting around that this was meant to be a reference to Final Fantasy vs. 13, and it's really heartbreaking. But probably the most unfortunate part is that you and I will probably never get to know the full story of everything that happened. Because of non-disclosure agreements, it'll always remain a mystery. And that's probably the biggest shame, because honestly, we all want to know what happened. Or I think at the very least, I'd love to hear him talk about what Versus' story was going to be, since the concept is something that he held very dear to him. So, Ultima Weapons, does this make you a little more curious about some of the behind-the-scenes details of Final Fantasy Versus and 15? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know in the comments below. And if you value the content on this channel, be sure to check out the Patreon for the Night Sky Prince, where awesome people like Brennan Burleson help make all these videos possible. So if you'd like to directly support the channel, there's a link in the description below. Shout out to Brennan and the rest of the Ultima community. Was I born to be betrayed? Was I born to simply die? Can I bear?